for it. So then, then it goes upstairs to the television umpire, and he's then got to decide what the standing umpire on the field could not do. Well, he made the decision that he didn't hit it. So this man watching television has to look at what a super slow mo of the ball may be changing its shape. Or the, the hot spot. Or the hot, hot spot. Hot spot was there uh, right. in that series. So why not use it? Mm. It was there, it would give you with 100% accuracy. Well. Does this table there agree, was agree though, but with Akash, that, that that could have been. Uh, the, the, the legacy of that match, which was a pretty nasty affair, could have been rather uh, dissuaged by having a referral system. In that decision, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I'm, I've always said that you try and get all decisions as correct as you can. Yeah. And that would have got it correct. And if you really look at it now, players are scrutinized, their, their conduct is scrutinized. Yeah. You have match referees, you have fines in players, bans, different. Yeah. Uh, levels of fines and, and offences oh, okay. committed yeah. by this, yeah. um, and and then you have the elite yeah. umpiring panel. The word elite is very important because yeah. that means they're the best yeah. of the best. Yeah. Mm. And um, how can they be the best of the best if the criticisms are, are true? Yeah. If the if the media is is right in in how they portray these umpires? Yep. At the end of the day. They're doing the best job they, they possibly can, and, and it's, it's a tough job. If you ask mm. any cricketer, they will accept the fact that most often they will not want to be an umpire. No. No. But why not help them to be that elite panel by supporting them and helping them out with the latest technology that is accurate, that everyone accepts can be used? Why not give them the opportunity to really have that elite panel status and have all of these criticism will s probably stay still but I think it will be much it reduced and the yeah. players acceptance of those decisions will be much better and the game will probably be, be benefit, played benefit in, 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 be in a better spirit as well. Yeah. Would you go along with technology supporting umpires in catching? I firmly believe that uh, technology cannot give you 100% in yeah. every aspect like for catches uh, yeah. you have to either trust the players on their judgment if they think they have caught it and then you have to leave the rest on the umpires officiating the match on the ground. Yeah, Dev, in your day when you were playing, you took the players, you took his decision, right? You, you you normally give him a little glance. You said you catch it. Yep, I caught it. Now, sometimes it might be difficult for a player, certainly for a keeper, and you you know because sometimes you might not feel the whole thing if you're diving full stretch. All fielders. Yeah. 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 So it is. It is. It should, should I'm we? Sure, in my day, Alan. Come on. You know, I've been out caught. You know, and slips, and I think, gee, that was close. But all of them were not out. <laughs> they were, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never, never out. <laughs> but um, Dev, I mean, I, uh, what what Sanger is saying here, players have got a responsibility to bring to the game. Well, You've got to right. help the umpires. And but in catches, <laughs> yeah, you either have to go one way totally or the other. What, would, what would you then, Dev? Do you, you would accept the player who says, "I caught it," or do you not? Do you think we should not give that player that responsibility? That is a very difficult question because uh, we've seen evidence, I reckon, of certain players yeah. claiming a catch that wasn't a catch. All right. Where and then you, you go the other way and say, okay, let's use, use technology, but technology is not... Yeah. Sanger, have you got a strong, the strong view on this with catching? I mean, you're the man with the gloves on. No, I, I, I think Dad made a, a very valid point. Now, with the TV cameras there, let's say someone claims a catch. He honestly believes it's out because most of the time you'll see fielders yeah. diving and you, when you you know pause the frame at the time of catching you'll see that most of the time they're unsighted if it's a big dive they're unsighted yeah. and they don't know they only feel a ball in their hand they claim the catch batsman accepts the word of this and goes on they show the replay on the big screen and they sh see it just bounce just short of the hand the fielder gets pilloried in the press he's made out to be a cheat hmm. the crowd gets worked up and some players actually stick in the ground and oh are his edition going to be changed so I think you really can't go one way or the other with that. I think, again, there are two umpires on the ground. They confer, the rule is still that they confer, if only if both of them are incited can the addition go up to the third umpire. Right. If the third umpire cannot make addition, benefit of the doubt goes to the batsman. I think that's the way it has been in all decisions. Mm. And, um, you know, sometimes in tours, mm. captains have a meeting before and say, okay, we'll accept every mm. single appeal uh, every single claim of a fielder that has says Take I will the accept the yeah. word of the fielder but it has to cut not just only in fielding but why not have it in batting in bat pad catches caught behinds why not accept the word of the batsman in or, or you know players in those things is, is the brotherhood of cricket 
good enough, I'll be careful how I ask this, is the brotherhood of cricket good enough that you would literally to a man trust every cricketer you play against to ask him the question, did you catch that? Was that a legitimate catch? And if he says yes it was, and you go. Well, again, he might just not know. Right. He, he might just be unsighted at yeah, that time. So if he doesn't know, then uh, you can't... He might say, I think I caught I, I it. I think I caught I it. I think but, I caught it. But thinking but is not good uh, enough yeah. at well, times. Right. And I don't think it's a question of trust. I think, I think as cricketers, I, I would like to trust every single player that I play with Absolutely. and play against. Yeah. And I think it's never a question of trust. Mm. I think it's a question of making sure that it's not even about the players helping the umpires. I, I don't think there is... I mean, there is a responsibility to play the game in the right spirit, yeah. but I think the, the support is there, obviously, in technology. Why not use that to its maximum capabilities? There are still gray areas. Leave that for the umpires to decide on. And I think that that's that's probably a, a fair way to go in in the in you know a fair way to go for a, for a while until we get those things still we are lined up. We're talking about some very healthy and uh, very up uh, well, some very topical points here in, in the world of cricket. Uh, Kumar, we're going to come on after this break. We're going to talk about your 192 at Hobart. That should be a very interesting discussion. That's coming up in just a moment here on Cricket Up Close. Welcome back to Cricket Up Close. We're talking about umpiring and technology. Now, at the end of that last session, we uh, mentioned the 192 that Kumar Sangakara scored against Australia in Hobart for Sri Lanka. And you were given out caught behind Sangha by Rudy Kutsen, the finger, the slow dreaded finger went up and you knew that it wasn't out. Uh, 192, your innings came to an end, you might have scored 300, you might have won the match for Sri Lanka. What was going through your mind when you were given out? Uh, a lot of emotions, you know, uh, angry, anger, disappointment. Uh, it came off your shoulder, yeah? I had shoulder helmet uh, yeah. and to, I think, Ricky Ponting right. at gully or, or third slip. Right. Um, and uh, a few words in my mind that I can't repeat on, uh, <laughs> on television. <laughs> but uh, I walked up very disappointed, went into the dressing room. I took a while to cool down, but uh, uh, Rudy at the end of the game, I think, uh, was, was very nice. Uh, I had, he was under no obligation under any rule or anything other than, other than <laughs> curtsy to come and tell me, well, and he just oh, come and speak to me even. Yeah. End of the game, he came up to me and Sangha, I'm so sorry. I think I made a mistake, but I honestly heard two sounds. And, you know, that was, e even though, you know, it was after the fact, it, I felt, you know, very happy with that. Having an umpire admit, saying, mm -hmm. I made a mistake. And it takes a, it takes a lot for someone to say that. Yes. And uh, my respect for Rudy, I think, actually went up af uh, after that. And. Uh, He's, he had a great year that year in umpiring, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I was, I was, and after that it was very easy to, to say, well, it's gone. When, with Sanger walking off, then maybe Rudy thought, oh dear, maybe I don't think that was. You know, you might, the big screen might come on on the ground. That doesn't help umpires as well. So maybe we, again, we go to this word empower. Give the umpires a little bit more power by allowing the system to change his mind because everyone makes mistakes we all make mistakes we, we all make mistakes and we actually pay for it in case <laughs> of umpiring someone else has to pay for it that's a, a different issue uh, but but we have <laughs> this it shouldn't be though i mean <laughs> that's, should, so you're yeah. saying if an umpire makes a mistake players pay for it definitely if, if yeah. they make a mistake someone else pays for it right. but the thing is all we what we're discussing here is to get the mostly like, the more number of the correct decisions if how we do it is it's debatable how much technology can be used how much it can be assisted they can be assisted but at the end of the day the idea is to have even that elite panel why we have that elite panel because we want correct decisions to be made we want the right people to be there making the right decisions so if there is something to help them and and if they realize that there is a mistake has been made in case of peterson uh, he was called back in lords at lords at lords yeah. yeah he was called back so why not if you realize it and uh, sangha just mentioned some other d uh, decision in uh, dambula was it so uh, and they call him back what, what was that decision uh, what was that andrew simons uh, yeah. given on lbw by peter manuel in dambula in a one day game yeah um, he it was a big inside edge and the umpire we were all celebrating the wicket yeah.